welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be creating this look using the Kathleen Lights collab with ColourPop. Um, I'm going to be going in with both her palettes and all that stuff. So this is going to be like a first impression of the Kathleen Lights collection. I have a whole bunch of her stuff and this is also going to be kind of a first impression of the ColourPop eyeshadows. So stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to know what my thoughts and my reviews and everything are of her palette. And yeah, that is everything I'm going to get started with. So let's just jump right into the eye look. her original palette which is the Dream Street palette and then I have her newest one which is the Zodiac palette and I'm super excited um, I don't remember what any of them look like so we're just gonna be playing around with both palettes and seeing how it goes alrighty like always I do my brows off camera <clears throat> because it just takes a long time for me to do my eyebrows and now we're zoomed in we're going to jump into the palettes but first things first is I'm gonna prime with my Urban Decay Shadow Primer. This is like my OG Holy Grail eyeshadow primer. Um, I heard the NARS one's really, really good. I really want to try the NARS one. And I don't really like the Too Faced one. I don't know. So if you have any good eyebrow, not eyebrow, um, eyeshadow primer suggestions, let me know down in the comments. I'm very open to trying new things. Alright, so the first one I'm going to open up is the Zodiac palette just to kind of see what the color scheme is. Um, so here's this one. It's really, really pretty, but I don't really see any colors that I can set my shadow with. So let's go into the Dream Street palette. Perfect. So this is the Dream Street palette. It's really, really pretty as well. This one doesn't come with a mirror though. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to take Moony, which is this shade right here, and I am going to use that to set my eyeshadow at the Wet n Wild Silver Brush. I don't even know what these brushes are called, but I'm just going to take that one and apply it all over the lids just to set that part in there. Alright, so looking at the two palettes, I see a lot of blues, but I don't know. This color spark right here from the Dream Street palette is really really calling out my name so we're gonna work with that one. We're gonna take Shooting Star from the Dream Street. I feel like I'm gonna be using this one a lot. I don't know why. But we're gonna be taking a Shooting Star from Dream Street and applying that to the crease just as a transition. Literally the payment, the pigment payoff is amazing so far. I'm really liking it. This is my first time using ColourPop shadows too, so this is like a first impression ColourPop shadow video. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next we're going a little bit darker. We're going to jump into um, the Zodiac one. I'm going to take Virgo and also apply that into my crease just to kind of deepen it out. See? You see how I just kind of tied it all together? Oh, and the brush that I am using is the Sigma Tapered Blending F40. This is my favorite blending brush ever. Um, I use it mostly for the crease, but it is literally the best brush I've ever invested in. Okay, next, going in with Spark from the Dream Street Palette, which was that kind of reddish pink color that I was talking about earlier. Um, I'm going to use that and apply it all over the lids. The only thing I'm kind of scared for is if this um, stains my eyes because you know a lot of reds and colors in general in that family tend to stain the eyelids it's really really hard to get colors that don't stain the eyelids alrighty and then to kind of smoke it out a little bit more I'm going back in with Virgo from the Zodiac palette which is this like dark color I don't even know what to how to explain what the color is but I'm just gonna go in with that color and with a kind of like fluffy shade I'm just gonna kind of smoke it out a little bit more 
I broke up the crease a little bit more and also I'll wait to the out the corners. And then taking out my Sigma F40 brush and just kind of blend it all together um, with no product on there. Just whatever is left over, if there is anything left over. So jumping back into the Zodiac palette, I'm going to add a little pop of color into the inner corners. I'm thinking either Gemini or Aries. I don't know which one. Um, I think I'm going to go with Gemini. Gemini will look really, really pretty. So I'm just going to add that into just the inner corners to add a little pop of shimmer. Oh yeah, that was a good choice. And it just adds like a little golden green sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can really pick it up on camera or not, but it's so pretty. And then again, I'm just going to blend it out so it's not so harsh. And then taking the brush that I used the red with, I'm just going to kind of pat a little bit so the two colors are blended together. I think that looks good right there. Um, now I'm just going to add a little bit of something something to the high points of my cheeks. Using the Dream Street, I'm going to be taking Kaleidoscope, which is this color right here. And I'm going to just apply that lightly to the tops on me right under my brow, so on the brow bone. And yeah, just going to add a little highlight. this is the main look um, I'm gonna just kind of do some liner put lashes finish my face and I will come back and we will finish the eyes and finish off with the lips okay so now that my face is left on we are going to continue with the eyes and then we will move on to lips so for the eyes all we really have to do is do the lower bottom area of my eyes to be taking the first color that we used which was shooting star and I'm going to apply that then back in with Virgo I'm going to apply that very lightly <clears throat> not so harsh as well because I really really want that Pinky shade to pop. Then going in with Spark, I am going to be taking that very, very close to the lash line as a pop of color. I, you don't want, I don't want it to pop because then it's going to make my eyes look like they're irritated. Then back in with Gemini, which was like that greenish, goldish shade that I used in the inner corner. I am going to also apply that down at the bottom and then going in with the dream street palette taking that kaleidoscope which is what i use for the brow bone and applying that into the inner inner to pop up make my eyes pop a little bit more and tie the look together alrighty so now that i am all zoomed out we are going to be playing with her liquid lipsticks i have seven of them here with me and I'm going to swatch them for you guys and just kind of show you guys everything. We'll show you all the colors and that we can determine, not determined, we can determine which color I want to put on. So this is what Dreamy looks like. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, it's like a nudie pinky color. And that is what it looks like. I feel like this color might be a little bit too pink so let's see what her other colors are the next one I have here is Aquarius this is her satin um, finish one and this is more of a lighter nude pink there's Aquarius 
I do like ColourPop's um, satin lipsticks more than their matte ones. I feel like their matte ones are a little bit too drying for me. And I also don't like the fact that they don't have stoppers because it's a mess. <laughs> okay, this next one is the gloss version of Aquarius. Oh, so I guess they're not all liquid lipsticks. Okay. So this is the gloss. If I can even show you guys a good swatch of it. One second. <laughs> okay, that was a really, really bad swatch, but there's the gloss. It just looks like Aquarius, the glossy version. <laughs> this next one is another ultra satin. I might have gotten all ultra satins because I know I don't like the mattes. But this is the shade November and it's a more, it's like an in-between between Dreamy and Aquarius. So it's a little bit more muted. That one's pretty. Um, next we have Revere, which is this really, really pretty orangey red. That one is so pretty. Oh my god. You think I'll go with this eye look? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but this color is really, really pretty. Then I have Point Zero, which is a nudie brown kind of shade. And then this last one here is a, another ultra. This one is an ultra glossy lip. This is in the color Moon Child and it has like little gold reflexes on there. Let's see if you can actually like see the gold reflexes. That's really, really pretty. I don't think you can really see the gold reflexes on there. But these are all of her lipsticks, lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, glosses that I have. Um, I think I am going to go with the top one, which is Dreamy, and then I'm going to put um, Moonchild on top of it because I've been really, really, really into glossy lips. All in all, what do I think of these two palettes? Um, they're really, really nice. I really want to play around some more with this color right here. This color is like calling out my name. It's called the Pisces. And oh my god, it's so, so pretty. So pretty. So I really, really want to jump into that one and play around with that color. The Dream Street palette, I really wish it had um, a mirror too, but that's fine. And I don't know, these colors are just so, so pretty. And the payoff, the pigmentation, everything is on point. I don't really have anything really bad to say there's not a lot of fallout or anything and yeah um the only thing maybe is it could be blended a little bit better like I kind of had to go in back and forth more than other eyeshadows that I've used to get it to blend out nicely but other than that I really really like the palettes I love the collection it's a cute collection the colors are really really pretty I really want to jump into uh, this color Revere right here too and yeah those are just my thoughts and opinions um liquid lipsticks they're same formula as her other one well same formula as the other color pop ones so I don't like the ultra mattes I don't like the mattes I stick with the satins. Um, this is the first time trying their glosses. I really like the glosses. They're not sticky. It doesn't feel like anything's going to really like stick onto it. Like my hair won't stick to it or anything. So yeah, that is my thoughts and reviews of the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collab. <laughs> Alright, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys really, really like this. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials instead of like Vox boxes and unboxings because I know I do those a lot so yeah let me know if you want to see more videos like the like this or like first impressions and all that stuff I will definitely be doing that if you guys recommend it I do have a whole bunch of videos that I want to start recording um I have like a whole bunch just kind of rambling on in my mind and I don't know which one to start with so I started with this one and 
we're just gonna keep going from there so stay tuned for upcoming videos they're gonna be super fun super exciting and yeah that is it for this video i'll see you guys next time